Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man, Brian here. Well, I am super excited for today because today I am picking up one of these for my truck. This is the Moonlander. If you guys haven't seen what these things are, they're these awesome toppers that are custom built for your truck here in Denver, Colorado. And I had Luke, he's the owner of Moonlander, working on this for me for the last few months and it is all ready. So I'll show you guys what the Moonlander is all about. We'll talk to Luke, who's the owner of Moonlander, and I'll show you guys some of the different features and everything about this awesome rig. So let's talk exactly about what the Moonlander is. So the Moonlander is a custom built truck shell that can either be used as just an ordinary truck shell or a camper. This thing is great because it extends beyond the width of your truck. So there's a lofted bed that goes in here. So you actually sleep across the width of your truck, which gives you all that valuable space in your truck bed to put all your gear. The Moonlander is also taller than your st standard truck topper, which is great. So you have a lot more head space in there and a lot more room. It's also completely hard sided. So as opposed to like the overlanding rigs that have the pop tops or the wedge set up, this is 100% hard sided. So it keeps you out of the elements a lot better. It stays warmer and you don't have to worry about the noise of uh, canvas material when it's windy out. The Moonlander is also an all aluminum construction. So it's very heavy duty. It won't rust and it always looks good. Uh, the roof is actually strong enough to be able to hold a couple people. So you can even jump up there and use it as a little party deck. So as you can see with the Moonlander, it is slanted on both the sides and the top. So it's a lot more aerodynamic. Uh, so it doesn't really impact your fuel economy as much. And then this is also great for like branch deflection and stuff. Cause these things are really meant to go off road. And as you can see, it extends well beyond the width of your truck. So that lofted bed goes across here and I'll show you guys that. Radica builds these for all different size trucks, either smaller mid mid-sized trucks, you know, with a smaller five foot bed all the way up to eight foot bed like my truck here. This is on Luke's truck here. He's got a tundra. Now that you guys have seen the outside, let's go ahead and check out the inside and I'll show you guys all the add-ons. Like I said, you start when you get these things built, um, you start out with the shell. So Luke will measure out your truck and basically you get the shell as well as the loft on the bed. And then you can customize these things with a lot of different add-ons. So I'll walk you guys through everything that you can add on here. The first thing you can add on is front and rear fixed windows. You can add on side sliding windows. And you can also position these uh, in different spots, um, especially if you have a larger truck like mine. We have the porthole window. For the bed loft, it does come standard with a full bed. You can get that upgraded to a queen bed. A max air vent. This is a 12 volt fan. Inside a Luke's Moonlander here, he actually has one that comes with a remote. And then on mine, he actually put a slightly different style one. You can also add a 10 pound propane tank mount. Gets mounted on the rear of the Moonlander. Up front here, you can get a 175 watt solar panel. Now this will run to uh, the inside of the Moonlander. And then you can hook this up to a portable uh, power station. T-lock handles are also an option which are lockable. If you don't get these, it does come standard with a bolt lock on the inside of the Moonlander. So the door that lifts up here is standard on the Moonlander, but you can opt to get a barn style door that swings out. So this is a perfect example why I opted for the uh, door to be above. It's raining right now and I'm under the Moonlander and I'm staying nice and dry. A bubble roof window is also an option which gives you additional head space and a lot of light. And then the last add-on is this light bar up top. This is a brake light as well as a sequential 
turn signal light. So for the finish on the moon lander, you can go with a clear anodized finish. That's what Luke has on his moon lander. You can do a white painted, that's what I'm going with, or a black anodized. Uh, or you could just stick with the original mill finish. So we're just on the inside of the shop. The guys are wrapping things up on the moon lander there. And we're getting the seal put on the truck. Alright guys, well it has been four weeks actually since I have had the Moonlander installed in my truck and I wanted to give you guys my overall feedback on how I like the Moonlander and how I've used it thus far. And then at the end of the video, we'll do the interview with Luke. So overall, how do I like this thing? Well, I gotta say guys, I love the Moonlander. Uh, this is by far probably the best setup I've ever owned. I've owned truck campers before, I've had toppers, and I think this is by far the best setup because it's kind of a combination of the two. So just using it as a normal topper like we have over the last four weeks, you just have so much more room. I mean, I'm sitting in here right now on my camping chair. I still have headroom in here. And when you use this as just a normal topper, you can put so much more stuff in here because it's taller and it's wider. Um, so like we've gone camping in our travel trailer and we put all of our gear and stuff in here. It's nice because it's protected. It's out of the elements. We just have so much room. We got done with a camping trip and I had to make a run to Lowe's to get some materials for uh, uh, refinishing our basement. And I kept all of our gear on the, on the lower level here. And then I used a, a bar across the back and I put big old pieces of foam uh, foam board, four by eight foot uh, boards on the loft. And it was just so nice because I didn't have to unpack the truck and I was able to still go work out of this thing. So it's extremely versatile, so much better than a normal topper. And it's so much more nimble um, and capable than a truck camper. I've had pop-up truck uh, campers before and even the lightweight ones that I've had uh, the one I have was about 1,200 pounds, and if you were on a bumpy road or something like that, you you could feel you know your truck kind of swaying back and forth like that. And I, just yesterday, actually, I was on a four by four road. Uh, I do archery elk hunting, and I was doing some scouting. I took the truck up there, and I felt like I was just driving my truck. This thing is so lightweight that you just feel like you're normally driving your truck. Even with that 1200 pound pop-up truck camper that I used to have, um, I would definitely feel the tippiness. And with this being lower profile, you know, it's not as tall as say a hard-sided truck camper, I was able to get in where we go elk hunting super easy. And even with wise too, there are some branches that hit the side, but the design of it really does help deflect it and you're just so nimble. And the other fantastic thing is too, versus like those wedge style pop-up overlanding campers, there's no setup time. So let's talk a little bit about how I've used it. I did use it camping for two nights and it was so nice just to make sure my truck was level and I'm good to go. You know, open up the back hatch and uh, get my bed set up and you're, you're golden, you know, versus a, a pop-up truck camper or pop-up wedge style overlanding rig, there's zero setup time. And when I went camping, it was great because um, there's no wind noise or anything like that. You're nice and protected. And 
it was great too because I could have all my gear underneath here, have my bed set up, and have really nice access and space around everything. And as you guys can see here, I'm in my camping chair in the back of the Moonlander, which is just so great. What I would do when I have my bed set up here, I got a tri-fold bed, which I'll put an Amazon link, and I got this carrying case. But uh, what I have with my bed set up here, I got a little four inch mattress, you know, in the morning time when I be, you know, getting my clothes ready or whatever, I have my duffel bag and my clothes, I pull it forward and I just be sitting on my chair, get my stuff ready. I found that to be a lot easier versus, you know, standing up and being kind of hunched over and stuff because uh, I got a bad back. So that hurts it. But sitting down like this, I have plenty of room to be able to move around and do that. And it's just, it's fantastic. Um, so it's worked out great as a camper. It's also worked out great for us just as a topper. Really the only bad thing that I would say thus far uh, about the setup is a problem more so with my truck than the Moonlander, but my seal around where my tailgate and my, the end of my truck bed meet, it's not that great. Um, and so I've had a lot of dust come in from dirt roads and stuff. So I got this uh, tailgate seal that I'm gonna install. I picked this up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, but I'm gonna install this and I hope that that fixes the problem. I haven't had any water come in, but the dust has just been absolutely terrible. So I'm hoping by uh, putting this on, um, it's gonna fix that problem. So overall guys, I'm super happy with my purchase. Uh, if you guys are in the market for some type of overlanding rig, um, I think this is a perfect setup, to be honest. I mean, the, the zero setup time, the fact that it's all completely hard sided, it's super lightweight, makes you nice and limbo. You have great headroom. You have the loft, which is probably my favorite feature. Or one of my top uh, features that you just you're able to use so much more of your truck and uh, you don't have any setup time. So <laughs> again, guys, I don't have anything bad to say about the Moonlander. I think it's an awesome product. If you guys are in the market for an overlanding uh, setup, I would definitely recommend checking Moonlander out. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys wanna get more info about the Moonlander and uh, Luke's conversation, stay tuned till the very end. All right guys, well we just got done. Uh, they just uh, finished installing the Moonlander on my truck. It looks awesome. First eight footer that these guys have done. Yep. This is uh, Luke, he's the owner of Radica. And uh, he's gonna tell you guys a little bit more about Moonlander. So yep. what, uh, what made you think of the idea of the Moonlander? How'd you come up with it? Yeah, so uh, Moonlander started off as a project. Uh, I was trying to build something that I couldn't really find on the, on the market. Uh, a topper that had more space you could get up stand up and kind of stand up inside sit up inside access your gear um, while you're camping but with still that lightweight hard shell form factor um, that you could still drive around with every day and uh, basically I started building this uh, my prototype and uh, we my girlfriend and I uh, took it to Yellowstone and we got so much interest that you know, I said, hey, let's try posting an ad on Craigslist, see if we can get anybody uh, to buy one. And sure enough, like after 24 hours, we had three orders nice. and uh, it, it launched from there. That's awesome. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the design of the Moonlander and how it's built? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we start with a welded aluminum frame. Mm -hmm. We've got eighth inch thick, uh, one inch and inch and a quarter square tubing. Um, for the main frame and subframe. Um, once we fully weld uh, all of the tubing, we attach 16th inch thick aluminum panels to every surface of the Moonlander. And we attach that with 3M acrylic VHB tape. Uh, this tape is really strong. It's not like normal tape. Uh, yeah. It's designed for mounting uh, metal panels to metal structures. Nice. Semi trucks use this. Uh, commercial vehicles use this, buildings use this. It's actually used all over the place. Nice. It's not super utilized in the camper market. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to integrate it into our product. Um, it not only doesn't require any rivet holes, um, but it also seals every seam that it's attached to. We cover the entire frame with this VHB tape. Um, it's more than actually necessary. But what happens is all of that 16th inch thick skin acts as an exoskeleton on the frame. 
So wow. not only yeah. do you have the skeleton of the tube frame, you also have the exoskeleton of the skins themselves. So once the skins are on and it's sealed with the VHB, we also uh, seal it with a marine grade sealant. Um, we actually do a three layer seal. Part of, the, part of the seams are welded, part of it's overlapped like a roof, and then it's double sealed with a sealant so that there's pretty much no way water can get in. Nice, um, yeah, that's And great. again, no rivet holes or anything like that. The roof is reinforced so you can stand on it. You can have two or three buddies up there. Um, we've got eighth inch thick diamond plate aluminum on the top um, to reinforce that. So this thing will take on hail, friends, maybe a bear. Uh, we haven't tested that. Um, <laughs> let's but, hope you uh, don't have to. <laughs> well, let's hope we don't have to, but uh, this thing is strong. And yeah. uh, we, we built it like that on purpose, um, but it also has flex. So when you're going off road, it's gonna take that shock and it's gonna absorb it. Nice. Um, you can mount stuff to any part of the um, tube framing. Uh, the skin itself is also structural, so you can mount to that. And uh, yeah, this thing's ready for you to build it out however you want. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice that you guys finish it, you know, really well, but then the customer can go in and they can yeah. kind of customize it, you know, as much as they want to or don't want to. Yeah, the way know. that we put it is it's, it's kind of an open canvas yeah. uh, for you to, to build out how you want or just use it as it comes. Yep. Um, we want to keep adding more options uh, as we progress as a company. Um, but right now we have a list of add-ons that you can choose from or yep. you can just buy the base model and build it out yourself and mm -hmm. have your DIY project but start with the with the welded uh, secure weatherproof uh, structure. Nice. So that's kind of that's kind of the point of Moonlander. So what do you think uh, makes Moonlander different or better than the other uh, overlanding toppers out there? Yeah, so uh, I think Moonlander kind of fills a unique niche that isn't quite being filled yet. It's in between a topper and a camper or a pop-up type of design. Um, I think that if you want a hard shell design, Moonlander's for you. Yeah. Um, if you want to have a quiet space to retreat to on your trips and not have to deal with wind and rain and storms and feel safe, uh, Moonlander's for you. Yep. Um, I think that uh, there's a lot of pop-up canvas designs, um, which is really good for giving you space to stand and giving that extra square footage when you get to camp. But at least for what I notice and what a lot of our customers are uh, mentioning as well is that, um, you know, it's really nice to not have to deal with wind and the elements and actually yeah. be able to get a nice night of sleep no matter where you are. Yep. And well, that's, that's that's what Moonlander for. Well, that was one of the main reasons and driving factors why I wanted the Moonlander too. I had looked at other yeah. overlanding rigs, and you know they pop up, so they have setup time. And then when you're in adverse conditions and everything, you know you got to worry about your canvas or softer material or exactly. whatnot getting wet, and maybe water coming in. And this, it's just. Yeah. It's set up, you park your, your truck and you're good to go. Everything's so, right where you left it when yeah. you left your house or when you come back from camp. Yeah. Um, you just can throw your stuff in and go. You don't have to yeah. do all this setup and yeah. take down. That's sweet. Well, another thing that really caught my eye in comparison to a lot of other toppers out there, just like a, I used to have a normal stock topper. Right. And it didn't protrude out beyond the truck bed, it was right the same width of the truck yep. and you know that it didn't go up and I love the fact that you can have the bed go across the width of the truck yeah I think that's one thing that's really a unique feature of the Moonlander and one thing that definitely caught my eye about it and Absolutely. I think I was really interested for sure yeah you can still access your gear underneath even yep. when you're in the camper um, you're allowed to have a full-size mattress uh, not just a full size width, but also thickness. You can have four or six inches of mattress if you want yep. and uh, stay comfortable. And because you're elevated off the truck bed, um, as, opposed, as opposed to maybe a traditional truck topper, um, you do stay warmer with that air barrier between your truck. Nice. So how have you used the Moonlander personally or how are customers using the Moonlander? Yeah, so uh, personally, my girlfriend and I use it probably every other weekend when we can. Nice. Um, 
we bring our dog with us and we like to go on off-roading trails, four by four trails and get back there and um, set up camp. Uh, Moonlanders made it really easy because we don't have to set up a tent. We don't have yeah. to really worry about weather um, and we can just kind of go wherever we want. Uh, it's also just nice because we don't have to really um, set anything up uh, yeah. to get there. Uh, we can just throw our stuff in and go. And uh, our other customers are also, uh, sh you know, sharing that with us. Um, customers are also really loving their Moonlanders. Um, mm -hmm. they're, they're, some people are using it every weekend. Uh, some people are just a here and there type of camp. And some people are living it out, out of it full time right now. We've got one guy uh, using it as a home base for, for as a raft guide. So what's the best way that people can reach out to you if they're interested in the Moonlander? Yeah, so if you're interested in Moonlander, we've got a website, www.radicaproducts.com. Mm -hmm. And you can go there on the contact page. You can reach out to us via email or cell phone. Uh, we'll, pick, we'll pick up and answer your questions. Sweet, yeah, Luke's been awesome on communication. I wanna say I put in my order for the Moonlander three or four months ago. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they got done on schedule, which was awesome, super awesome. Right. It's, yeah, <laughs> his communication was great throughout the entire process. If I had any questions about anything, he responded right away and super easy to work with for sure. And uh, Thayer and Javier, the other guys are working here at Radica. They were really excellent to work with too. So yeah, thanks, you got Ryan. a good team and you got a great product and yeah, happy to promote a, a small business here too. So we appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. So thanks a lot, Luke. Yeah. I really appreciate it. So hope you enjoy your Moonlander and we're excited to see what you do with it. Yeah, we'll do. And I'll be posting more videos on uh, the YouTube channel here Absolutely. of uh, putting this thing to use for sure. Cool. So thanks. Yeah.